Okay, so what we're going to do here is cover some of the tools that one might use to create patent drawings. What you see here is the Opera browser, and on the screen here you'll see a lot of the applications that people might use. SketchUp uh, being sort of like a go-to for a lot of basic and simple project work. You can model out your product, you can create uh, your isometric orthographic and perspective views on top of the document layout with the SketchUp Pro feature called Layout. Uh, very easy to get started, very fast. Also, there's Autodesk and SolidWorks. Now, if you have very complex architectures, if you have uh, lots of components within your actual product, you would want to use Autodesk and SolidWorks. Uh, unfortunately, it comes with a very strong learning curve. These are very complex applications, but if you had any level of proficiency in it, you're going to be just fine. You can produce all your drawing work if you want. You can create all your views if you need. Autodesk is cool in the fact that it has a SketchUp type product called Fusion 360. Also very fast, very easy to get started, and comes with a 30-day trial. SolidWorks, also very good, except that between the two, Autodesk and SolidWorks, again, is a very strong learning curve. So if you have the time to invest, by all means, most people who are producing their own products today uh, they'll maybe print them out on a 3D printer or they'll have another shop create a forum. They're going to be somewhat familiar with those already. To the right we have LexisNexis and ReadTech. So if you ever thought to yourself, well, this patent process is pretty uniform and all the standards are laid out, right? The government does a good job of presenting that information to us. So there must be some kind of application to assist in creating your patent filing. And in fact, there is. ReadTech is a brand under LexisNexis. And under ReadTech, you have something called the Patent Optimizer. If you think there's a one-click solution, there is. It'll actually do a lot of it for you, take out all the legwork. If you've ever gone to um, any IP firm anywhere in the country, they're going to have Patent Optimizer. This is how they do it. It's not efficient to sort of dive into creative writing to write up all the claims and specifications and preambles that patent filings require, you would use an application, right? So this is what they have. Down below you'll see USPTO. This is where you get all your guidelines, all the standards, and of course where you do your filing online. Below that you have Upwork and DeviantArt. Now why are those important? The reason is if you have SketchUp, Autodesk, or SolidWorks, maybe you dabble a little bit in them, maybe you're okay with them but you're maybe not as strong you'd probably go out and get a freelancer to do this product for you right getting a freelancer is good and that is very easy uh, it could also be very affordable and you could find a large variety of talent to actually do this work for you upwork is one of those portals you can use to find freelancers very very easy to get started and very easy to find the right kind of people they'll have billable hours they'll tell you how long the project takes a lot of these guys are very good and you can shop for price, right? DeviantArt is an excellent online artistic community and it has artists posting their wares onto this community site uh, to just sort of demonstrate, hey, you know, this is what I'm working on and you know, they, they do it for the love of the craft and you'll find any art that you can imagine on that site. Anywhere from sketch work to really complex 3D modeling now I would recommend using DeviantArt if you wanted to get access to this large community. It's sort of a, a lesser official medium to contact these artists, but it is very easy and it's very actually pleasurable to use the site. I, I have an account with DeviantArt for, for years now and I use it just to sort of browse some of the artwork people have. It's pretty fascinating stuff. If you find someone you think that can model this product for you, drop them a message. Be honest. Tell them you're working on this thing ask if they would be interested in, in helping you develop it, and then ask them if they can sign an NDA. I've actually found a couple really strong engineers on the site that actually do some work. Um, the good news about that is that they're excited to do the work, uh, also very affordable, and they'll come back for, for extra work. If you have other products in the pipeline, if you, have, uh, if you need marketing materials, they can do a lot for you. It's a pretty good community. So anyway, that's the sort of that's what the video was about. We talk about some of the tools that are out there that might help you in your business and your
patent process. And uh, who knows, maybe you can work one of these into your workflow. Okay, and that's it. Hope you find it helpful. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.